And I'm meteorologist Travis Christie. We are tracking the storms rolling through the Rio Grande Valley and other places as well. Just want to give you an update now. That strong storm, the severe storm, has now passed. It has weakened considerably, but now rolling over the Manzano Mountains. Also, we're seeing a pretty good storm south of the Bosque Farms towards Los Lunas. So right near the river, you want to take caution. Just uh, This one's not severe, but still the capability of seeing some gusty winds and also some pea-sized hail exists with that one as well. A little bit further down south into the Rio Grande Valley near Berlin, you've got a series of storms that are going to be rolling on in. These are not severe, but still strong. Up to our north, Santa Fe County, we've got another strong storm. This one is severe, actually, south of White Rock. What you can expect with this is cloud to ground lightning. Also, we're looking at hail and winds in excess of 60 miles per hour, and we've developed a pretty strong storm now into the Santa Fe area, at least right on the west side of town. And this one looks like it was skirt across the south and east side of town as well. Back towards Pecos, this one's severe in between Pecos and Las Vegas on the interstate. Of course, uh, this is an area that you want to kind of avoid right now. Those interstates traveling very quickly could uh, pose a big danger. And down towards Moriarty, we've got a strong storm here. Matter of fact, this one is severe, and we'll be watching that one very closely as well. You travel up here, up near Springer, south of 25. This one is also severe. It's not moving a whole lot. It's right near Mora right now. This is Mora County. And what you can expect with this is frequent cloud to ground lightning as well as gusts in excess of 60 miles per hour and penny size hail. Of course, we'll have a look at these storms a little bit closer coming up at 4 o'clock. And be sure to stay with us throughout the rest of this afternoon and evening.